right, allow us to share. And then, okay, can you guys see my screen? Okay, great. All right, hi everybody. So welcome to Jenkins GSOC 2022 office hours. So today is April 15th. Um, so pretty much we're gonna leave it open to, you know, um, Darash, since you're here, ask us questions. So it's pretty much open for questions. Yes, sure, thank you. So I wanted to know, like basically check if uh, Jenkins is able to visit, um, see my proposal that I've uploaded via GSOC registration. Yes, I, I believe we have your um, your your proposal submitted. Yeah. Oh, awesome. So that's the most important thing I wanted to make sure. So mm -hmm. other than that, I was request uh, I requested for review and I got the review. So um, that's yeah. a good thing okay. uh, because I got comment from Jake. And he suggested that uh, he has reviewed the proposal. So, um, like, it's pretty much it. So, if there's any other re reviews that can happen, that also would be helpful to make changes to my resume and make it more better. Okay. So, I know that I'd reached out to the mentors um, uh, for your proposal draft, and they have given me like the thumbs up. Okay. Yes, I will re give it a review. So. Um, that was done, I think it was like two days ago. So hopefully, you know, what you get now, it's what you get. Um, probably don't, you know, you probably won't get any more reviews, uh, from here on out. So you'll get one more review because oh, okay, there's, I lied. there's one person riddled with shame who is attending the meeting today <laughs> because I haven't done my reviews yet and I, I will do my reviews, but sorry, Diraj. Uh, I will, I will yet, I apologize for the late, late nature of them. I'll do my best to get them to you. Um, it's, it's a little complicated with, with the things that I need to be doing elsewhere. I'll do my best and I will get them to you. Uh, no, no, please don't apologize. I understand you have a lot of things going on and other commitment as well. So it, it's also fine if you are not able to do it because review window has already been passed. So even I'm late. So no problem at all. Great. And now I did have an open question that I've seen Diraj specifically related to you um, that, that I was watching in the org, GSOC org, org admins list as they were discussing back and forth about what the, what the rules are with regard to have, have, do you have experience with open source projects? And, and I'm still not entirely clear. And so I think it's, it's going to have to take some thinking and pondering because one of, the, one of the rules in the GSOC things is you need to be new to open source, but then they allow several different ways of being new. And as far as I know, you haven't done any significant code contributions. Your contributions to the Jenkins project up to this point have been in documentation and blog posts and things like that. Exactly. I totally agree. So if I think about my contributions, what things comes to my mind are change logs and uh, documentation related contribution. And the only the significant, I would say, contribution I did related to code to Jenkins was uh, last year when I was applying for custom distribution build service project. And even that code was related to ReactJS. So it was not like very specific to Jenkins core or any plugin changes that I did. So that's what I see when I look back. Good, excellent. So I think I think that gives reasonable justification that that you are new to open source, particularly for code contribution. Great, thanks. Now Alyssa and Chris are the org admins along with John Mark. So they'll they'll have ultimate decision authority there, but I think that makes sense to me. Yeah, that yes, sounds good. Yeah. Okay, great. And yeah. other than that, yes. So uh, I was also wondering, like, 
since we have time so can you explain like if a person gets selected then how would they utilize the time of community bonding i read the documentation on gsoc as well so i just wanted to know what we think about it yeah so past community bonding experiences have been um configure the environment be sure you're ready to do development be sure you can run the run the the code that you're that you're using as your basis locally be sure that you've got a working debugger a working compile environment that you can run tests there that you've got a working jenkins environment that you understand how to deal with pull requests how to submit them how to interact with the mentors set up the schedules for mentor interaction those kind of things were typical for from my experience during community bonding. Chris, now you've got the benefit of having been an actual on the other side participant, a, 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 basically a student. Maybe you've got a different view of what worked well for you in, in community bonding. Um, I remember basically I set everything up and then I, I could start early if I wanted to. That's what I did. So you set everything up prior to the bonding, Chris, I'm assuming? During, during the bonding period. Oh, during the bonding, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, so, and, and, and that matches with what I saw in the two years that I've mentored is the, the, the new contributor was already getting started working through things like, okay, what are, the, what are the phases look like? What are the most high risk things? Let's explore those. Can I get something going here? And community bonding is a great time to do that because it lets us practice review processes and practice coding discussions, practice those kind of things before the project itself starts. Oh, yes, that makes sense. Oh, thanks a lot. Other than that, I. I think I do not have any significant questions for now. Uh, I just only had a few questions I asked, that's all. Okay, great. So I guess we can call it a day and well, we have more questions. Feel free to put it in together. Okay, Dirash? Yeah, sure thing. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Alyssa. Um, Thanks, Chris. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.